Hey guys, so I am just now leaving Colton's Feed out of Henrietta, Oklahoma. And here's the thing. Whoa. We just picked up from another breeder, a farmer, a, a rancher. I'm not quite sure what you call it. A quail farmer. But let's call him a quail farmer. I just picked up some quail. All right? This is, I'm so, I'm not even happy, guys. I, this is, I don't, uh, I, I'm just, I'm showing no emotions because this is just another day in the life. Anyway, I picked up a big old bag of starter and we are getting on the highway now. So I got a big old bag of of starter feed for these uh, these chicks and I haven't even seen them yet he said he threw in a couple extra so I'm happy about that and uh, picked up some pine shavings for their brooder box so here's the thing he, he said that he runs two lines uh, my Shire which I'm familiar with because in my YouTube research on raising quail, and I've done months of research on uh, YouTube, I've downloaded eBooks, I've, I've become the resident expert on quail in the Searcy household. All right, so I know my Shire Farms from his YouTube videos, so I'm, I'm, I'm good there. So we have some of his quail, in a box next to me and then he said J and H J and L J and something line as well and I'm not quite 100% sure who they are but it's it's uh, apparently it's another line that he has a lot of faith in so uh, I'm gonna go with him and just be happy with what I got so here's the thing we just dropped 20 bucks on the quail and i just dropped 27 50 around there on feed and pine shavings and everything else is ready to go i got the, the, the tote for the brooder box at the house i got a couple cages we're going to put them in i'm going to build some cages and it's going to be amazing and the plan is i want to be on a two-week cycle where i am i am hatching raising and butchering quail every two weeks I'm gonna have new chicks every two weeks I'm gonna be butchering every two weeks I'm gonna be collecting eggs so that's that's the plan we're gonna have meat birds in the freezer every every nine weeks starting today guys this is nine weeks and then that should be should hopefully get on a schedule two weeks after that so we're gonna have meat in the freezer and it's gonna be amazing plus the benefits of the eggs oh my gosh so I have I have allergies like crazy and you guys have probably already noticed that if you follow me on my channel and if you don't then I, I got allergies the proteins and I'm about to pass Montezuma Park and they got the fishing dock back up man if I didn't have a dozen quail I didn't have a dozen quail in a box I would go fishing anyway let's let's keep on going I got a good 40 minute drive back to the house so the, the quail eggs are far more nutritious than the chicken eggs it takes two to three quail eggs to make one chicken egg but they lay one egg a day so we got a straight run I have no idea how many boys we got how many girls we got I guess I should say how many roosters how many hens but that's okay that is okay let me bring you guys up here <clears throat> this is a straight highway and I'm about to turn the uh, cruise control on so you guys are gonna bounce around on my steering wheel for a second and hit set and there goes the pedal all right so we're pretty happy with uh, with the way the day is going and I'll tell you what I got the cruise control on but I don't want to get complacent in my driving. Uh, let's pay attention to that. So I will see you guys 
when I get to the house and we're gonna open this box and you are gonna see them for the first time I get to see them you know I know why didn't you look at them before you left make sure they display leg or something I don't because I don't know I don't know anyway this that and the other we'll uh, we'll see you at the house Get over here where the food and water is. <clears throat> now you're not allowed to name any of them. We're going to eat all these. What? This is Jeffrey? It's Calvin. <laughs> this is barbecue. This is teriyaki. This is lemon pepper. No, that would be like lemon pepper. No. No, this one. Okay, you can pick out a hen and we'll keep the hen. <clears throat> well, because the one will have a penis and the other one won't. These guys already found the food. They're like, fuck yeah. He's standing on his back. Look at that. Oh, I didn't count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's an easy, even done. He gave me two extra. Well, here's the setup so far. Hopefully the unboxing went pretty good. I used the Vivitar on that one. And I just set the camera down right in there. So I haven't seen that footage yet, but I hope it's okay. Hope that's good for you guys. Uh, so, he said at this point, instead of using the red heat lamp, <clears throat> he said at this age, uh, just a 60 watt light bulb uh, should be sufficient for him. And I know that if they're all huddled up under the light, they're trying to stay warm. And if they all get away from the light to the furthest corner of the box possible, that means that they're too hot. I need to raise it up or, or make some adjustments there. But, so what I what I had was, I couldn't find it. So check this out. This is a 43-watt bulb that we were using, made in France. Uh, who uses a 43-watt bulb? What the, is, is it because 3 watts is better than a 40-watt bulb? I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, I got to looking around, and I found inside another fixture I had a 67-watt bulb. What's the deal with these odd numbers? It's either, I thought it was a 60 watt or a 40 watt. I guess they're, I don't know if that's marketing or whatever. But anyway, here they are. They're all under there. Some of them are over here on the other side at the uh, the waterer and the, the feeder. But here's, here's the birdies. So these are the, the quail that we're going to start raising. And of the quail... We're going to have <clears throat> uh, some egg layers and some meat birds is what we're, what we're doing here. So that's, that's the plan. So as soon as these guys are ready to go in the cages, we're going to put them in the cages. As soon as they start laying eggs, uh, we're going to start consuming eggs. And as soon as I get an incubator, we're going to start the incubation. And make that happen see if I can just set you guys right there so we'll uh, we'll start incubating eggs 
<clears throat> and we'll let those guys get warmed up. And if we need to go get a heat lamp, we'll get a stronger bulb, something. I don't know. We'll figure something out. But if they don't all get out from underneath that light, uh, then we'll uh, we'll definitely make some adjustments. So I need to go find a thermometer, stick in there, make sure these guys are comfortable. And that's step five, six. I lost count. Anyway, there's the uh, there's the burns laying down, resting from their long trip, their 45 minute trip to their new brooder box. We'll catch you guys next time with more adventures. Sersey Outdoors.